Life is not a glass to empty. It's a cup to fill. Brothers, have you ever thought of the concept of being smart? I did, and I think you did as well. But how to explain it? Is it the IQ that human is being born with? Is it how quickly the guy can solve different problems or uh, how fast he can do it? Not sure. And so is the Wikipedia. But I presume there is one more way of interpreting it. Actually, I imagine it myself with the help of a certain book, which I will show you in the future because it's a really, really important book to me. Uh, basically, the concept from there was that we are one with everything around us. We are one with plastic. We are one with stone. We are one with ourselves. We are one with everybody around us. All information, all the matter there, uh, there is. And I really like that idea because it does, like, it does sits in place of a legitimate theory of how world exists and works. We are all a piece of one and only thing that ever got to exist, which is universe, our galaxy, our solar system, our planet, and maybe even our country, or our, like, um, as well. But not only that. It basically implies that we are all a piece of one. That means if I am going to do something, that's going to be also about him. That's going to be about her. That's going to be about us. And that also implies that we know everything that universe knows. Sounds exciting, isn't it? Because it is. How do you think um, Archimedes got his... Um, got his table of uh, chemical elements in his head. I mean, I don't think he just spontaneously got it from out of nowhere. As all the physicians, chemicalisms, and uh, other laboratory guys know, energy cannot get out of nowhere. It should be out of the reaction or out of the source. And I say... That the source is always around us. There is always energy to be, to be made something of. And I really like it because it not only makes me sound smart, but it also will make you sound smart. And if you will also try thinking about it, imagine thinking about something. I am a philosopher from the ancient Greece. I am an epiptic. I am a Plato and all the all of the others and Marcus Aurelius, whatever. I am a great thinker. We live in one place. Uh, we've been born in one place and we exist together. We are not separate. Nobody of us. We exist in in oneness with nature. We are born to exist this way. But other than that. Does it does it not sound exciting? Like how universe was able to get out of nowhere the mind of universe you you imagine the universe is a mind and uh, We exist in this mind. How do you think our consciousness was able to uh, get out of nowhere only in humans? Not in cats, not in dogs, not in frogs, not in amphibians, not in anybody else but us. Or maybe also monkeys, but they had a chance. We got it. We got it rocking, though. We were the lucky ones, obviously, because the lucky ones always 
keep on going by the evolution tree. Not, a, but it's not about evolution. It's about a gift. It's about the gift we were given by the universe of consciousness, of its own consciousness. How else were we were we able to get our consciousness if nobody else got to? And there was no consciousness. Well, I think there was in the universe. The universe has a consciousness. And your consciousness is straightly connected to the universe consciousness. Because it's the mother source. <sighs> I love talking about it, man. I, I even love talking about it. Because I so much... I embrace the idea of us being together, of us being the source of one, and us being the one. It really cool. It's really cool. It would be really cool. And uh, I say that because that can help you as well as me. Because my thoughts are always cycling about. What is going to be possible with our consciousness if we will not embrace, but acknowledge? What if we acknowledge that we are one with universe? You don't know how far acknowledgement goes. Real acknowledgement. Acknowledgement of the fact. Fact you were born with. Fact you were born. Fact, fire hurts. I mean, regular fire with O2 um, and uh, carbon dioxide or whatever it was. <clears throat> I don't really remember. Besides that, I'm basically talking about true fact. True fact that human has on the level of instinct. instinct. Imagine, imagine if any human had that. About that idea. About that idea of universe being one with everybody and having one consciousness for everybody. And he just acknowledges, acknowledges it as a fact. Maybe it's going to be you. Maybe it's going to be you when I'll tell you what book I'm reading. Maybe it's going to be me. Who knows? Time will tell. But... Other than that, imagine if you were one with the universe. Imagine what can you do. Try talking with it. You will reply. I tried, and it did. It did reply. You know how, how did it reply, though? It, it almost replied to me every day. I every daily speak with universe. It's not schizophrenia. It's my own making and the universe's. I believe that universe helps me in every of my starting. I believe that universe is only upon me. It's only and only cheers me up, only helps me, only gives me all the possibilities I need. All the random events like war in my country, like me not having my computer anymore. I've stopped playing video games. I've stopped watching anime. I've stopped most of my bad habits that I will, that I were spending my time on before war. And I believe that universe was the one. <laughs> For that, I, I believe that universe, maybe not, of course it doesn't circle around me, but if you will be, believe that, soon, soon you're gonna be happy as hell. Soon you're gonna be happy to be alive, to be friends with universe. After you try to see all the all the signs universe gives you that it's going to be a wonderful day. You're going to be so happy every day. And the more signs you see, the happier you will be. Yes, that's how my life goes. 
That's how my everyday goes. Every time I see a cool looking number, I know it's the universe saying me, it's going to be your lucky day. Every time I see some coincidence, some rare co coincidence, like seeing a fox, seeing a maybe wolf, seeing a rare bird, I know it's the universe telling me it's going to be okay. And she's going to support me. It's going to support me. He's going to support me. Whatever. I just really like it. And I wanted to share with you, bros. Because this concept may as well change your, change your life. All of it. Forever. I think I will be only happier from this point. point and then, in the future, I don't think I'm going to be in uh, sorrow. I don't think I'm going to be... What's sad? Desperate? Maybe I will be depressed. Yes, but if it's gonna be a universe that makes me so, I know. I know I have to endure this depression. I know I will become only stronger after this depression. I know the universe wants me to endure it. I know. Believe and think, think how big your belief in your willpower will be after you acknowledge that the universe stays behind you. It always stands. Imagine how reckless you're going to be. Imagine how cool it's gonna be to always know that universe is gonna be on your side not on his not on his and hers mine and yours if you also want to believe in it of course let the universe be with you brother embrace it be one with it it will always keep you on top. Just let it do its thing.